In Kourou, elements of the next Soyuz launch are being assembled. Galileo satellites 7 and 8 will soon be sent on orbit. The Galileo program is solidly back on track for its deployment phase. At the end of 2013, Galileo successfully completed its in-orbit validation phase when ESA tested the system extensively using a mini constellation of four satellites. The first fixed position based on Galileo signals only was a historical moment. And the results of the test campaign on roads, at sea or in the air showed that the system design was good and sound, opening the door for the deployment of the rest of the constellation. Last August, the launch of the first full operational capacity satellite suffered from an injection anomaly, the two satellites being sent on an elliptic orbit instead of the circular one. Hopefully, after intensive work, both satellites have been recovered. They're now on a quasi-circular orbit where they are tested to confirm that they're working perfectly. Analysis is ongoing on their future use in the overall Galileo system. That allowed a green light for continuation, in particular, the launching of satellites 7 and 8 here under preparation in Kourou. During this deployment phase, Europe will be procuring another 22 satellites. Of course, as the constellation is completed, Galileo's overall performance improves in terms of accuracy and availability. Therefore, Galileo's early services could start based on 12 satellites. When fully deployed, the Galileo system will be made up of a 30-satellite constellation associated to a major ground segment. The provision of improved navigation services relies also on the deployment of ground stations. The Galileo system is controlled in space from two centers, one in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany, which mainly manages the satellites, and one in Fucino, Italy, where the navigation message is generated and uplinked to the satellites via a network of remote stations distributed worldwide. The satellites then broadcast the navigation signals, including the latest message prepared by the ground segment. During this deployment phase, both centers are being upgraded so they can act as backup for each other. With the successful in-orbit validation phase and the ongoing deployment phase, and now the two Galileo satellites launched last summer showing they work properly, Europe's Galileo program is well on its way. ESA and the European Union are taking another step forward in completing the Galileo constellation and offering navigation services to the users.